Hello, welcome to this week's problem of the week. Uh, so for this problem, uh, we are picking uh, numbers A and B uh, from the range uh, 0 and 1, where it's a closed range. Um, and we want to find the probability that um, when we independently and randomly pick A and B, that um, A, B, and 1 can form the side lengths of an obtuse triangle. Uh, so since um, the maximum value that A and B can have is 1, um, 1 has to be the longest side of the obtuse, of the obtuse triangle um, because um, if A and B at their maximum lengths, um, then we can have um, at most equilater we can have an equilateral triangle, which isn't obtuse. Uh, so we can write down that property. Um, and now there are two more properties uh, that we have to consider or that we uh, need A and B to have in order for an obtuse triangle to be formed. Uh, the first property is that um, A plus B has to be uh, greater than 1. Um, if A and B um, are less than or equal to 1, or A plus B were less than or equal to 1, uh, then we wouldn't have a triangle. Um, so to have the triangle, uh, we need that property. Um, now to have an obtuse triangle, um, we need the property that a squared plus b squared is less than 1. Um, as you know, the Pythagorean theorem states that for a right triangle, a squared plus b squared equal one, equals um, c squared. Um, in this case, c squared is equal to 1, which is the hypotenuse. Um, and so in order for the triangle to have an angle greater than 90 degrees, um, the two legs of the triangle, a and b, um, the sum of their squares needs to be less than the square of the hypotenuse, uh, which is c. Uh, so that's how we figure out that a squared plus b squared is less than 1. Uh, so we have uh, these three conditions now. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, graph the last two conditions that we have, um, a plus b being uh, equal to 1, and a squared plus b squared being less than 1. So we have uh, this coordinate plane um, where this is the b axis, this is the a axis. Um, and so you can see this line is equal to um, a plus b equal to 1. And this is equal to um, a squared plus b squared equal to 1. And so now this uh, being drawn, um, we want to find um, the points that satisfy both um, a squared plus b squared being less than 1 and a plus b being uh, greater than 1. Um, and it's just this area right here, uh, which I'm going to shade in right now. Uh, so you can see uh, this is the area um, such that if we have point A and point B um, in the coordinate system, if we have a point here, um, anywhere in this area, um, we will have a side length of A and B such that um, if they were paired with one, we would have an obtuse triangle. Um, so what we need to do is find um, the probability that uh, if we chose a point anywhere in this one by one grid, um, it would be in this shaded area. Um, and so because the area of this grid um, is just 1, because a's maximum length is 1 and b's maximum length is 1, what we need to do is just figure out uh, what this area is and the probability of choosing a point um, will, um, the probability of choosing a point in this area will equal the probability that a, b, and 1 can form the length of an obtuse triangle. Uh, so to do that, uh, we just take the formula for um, a quarter, the area of a quarter circle, and then the area of a triangle. Uh, so this is the formula written out: um, area of a quarter circle minus the area of a triangle. Um, so for the quarter circle, um, the radius is one. Um, as you can see, um, a plus b is equal to one. And for the triangle, um, this is a right triangle. Um, so all you have to do is just base times height. Uh, and both of those are equal to 1. 
Uh, so now I'll just plug in those numbers and figure out what the answer is. Uh, so it's a simple uh, plug and chug. Um, we have one as the radius and one as a and b. So we find that area of the circle is pi over 4, and the area of uh, the triangle is 1 half. Um, so all you have to do from there is just um, make this fraction have a common denominator, and we see the probability is equal to pi minus 2 over 4 um, for the side lengths a, b, and 1 forming an obtuse triangle. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and check out our website, centerofmath.org. Thank you.